to Australia now where there was a deadly crash today involving U.S. Marines. They were killed when their Osprey aircraft crashed on a remote island during joint military exercises. CBS's Elise Preston is outside Camp Pendleton where CBS News has learned some of them are based. Elise, good evening. Good evening to you, Jerika. An investigation is underway into what caused the deadly crash. This says some of the seriously injured Marines are being treated at an Australian hospital. The military aircraft carrying 23 American Airlines crashed near Darwin, Australia, just seconds after the pilot radioed in an emergency. The Osprey, similar to these, went down during a training exercise at 9.30 a.m. Australian time on Melville Island, killing at least three. This is a terrible incident. Helicopters airlifted five seriously wounded Marines to Royal Darwin Hospital about 60 miles away. Network 10's Samara Gardner. The hospital here has activated its highest emergency level and that's meant that theatres were cleared out as well as several wards to cope with the wounded. U.S. officials tell CBS News the crash involved Marines from Camp Pendleton and the Osprey was based out of Hawaii. The tilt rotor aircraft was one of two taking part in a 12 day routine international exercise involving troops from multiple countries. This is the second deadly incident this week involving a marine aircraft. A Horner jet crashed near San Diego Thursday, killing the pilot. Just last year, nine Marines died in two separate accidents involving Ospreys, one near San Diego and one in Norway. Now, the military exercises, which were supposed to continue until September 7th, are on pause for now as the crash investigation continues. Jerika. All right, Elise Preston, thank you.